This is the smaller version of a vacuum chamber. And we're gonna put our little heartbeat balloon inside there. Those of you who actually have seen one of these before, this is actually a coffee thing, like to keep your coffee fresh. You put the coffee beans and the coffee grounds in here and then seal it up. And you have a pump that will pull the air out. Now, our gas law that we're looking at here is which law? If we're looking at pressure and volume, whose law is that? Boil, sir. Boil. What two things are we keeping constant in Boyle's law if we're doing it correctly? Temperature. Temperature and? Volume. Nope, we're changing volume and pressure. One more thing that we haven't really looked at much at all. Mass. Mass or what number of moles, how much gas is in there. The way this pump works is we're literally going to be pulling gas out of the system. We're going to pull air out of here, which is violating the law, but we don't care what's going on inside the container. We care what's going on inside the balloon. And am I changing the number of molecules inside the balloon when I'm messing with it? No. The balloon's sealed up enough that for this, it's not changing the number of molecules. So inside here right now, because I just put the lid on, the pressures are equal. I'm gonna pull a bunch of the molecules of air out of this container, which is gonna do what to the pressure inside this container? Reduce it significantly. If I pull air out, there's gonna be a lot less molecules in there bouncing around creating pressure. So what's gonna to happen to the volume of my balloon? If the pressure goes down, the volume goes up. I'm going to stand up because I did this earlier and it's really hard to do sitting down. Arm workout. Can we tell the balloon got considerably bigger? And then what happens if I reduce, the, or if I let the pressure back in, if I let the air back in so the pressure increases in here again? The balloon should. Return to his original volume. I'm gonna go back to our cute little red balloon. Okay, so that's boils.